I'm Rob Chapman, I'm coordinator at Craft in Focus and we're here at RHS Garden Wisley at the end of day four and it's been gorgeous weather all out. Our fair here at RHS Garden Wisley is our flagship show and it's just this most lovely setting. It's one of the world leading gardens. It's not just about the craft fair, they can enjoy all the lovely garden and plants as well and it's a really lovely family day out and you can shop at the same time. We like to set the bar high and keep it a cut above the rest. So we select the very best makers from all across the UK. So the public that come here, they see the wow factor in the products, they haven't seen it all before. There's no barcodes, it's not like shopping on a clone high street. And it's just a wonderful place to be. So new for this year, we've got around 40 exhibitors who are demonstrating their product. We've created a little village going on in the woodland for the exhibitors to demonstrate. So we can actually see the production. And so you've got lamp work for the glass, um, the wood turnings going on both powered and more traditional on a treadle lathe. There's spinning and weaving. The leather work, we've got some, a forge. So there's a small forge there, so you can see the metal work in progress as well. And so many different products. It's really exciting addition for this year. And on the side of the demonstration village, we've got a little food village going on, some live music on the stage. So there's so much there. It's a really nice space to chill out in between shopping. We've got a lot of unique products here that you just don't see at other craft fairs. And we cherry pick from the highest branches for exhibitors anyway. But I think this year there's a lot of new exhibitors that we've attracted from all across the UK. And glasswork, ceramics, metalwork, leatherwork and fashion. And it's just a wonderful array of products all in one space. The new visitor who's perhaps not seen a Craft in Focus event or a really high-end craft fair before might not find what they want straight away. But then they start to talk to the makers and they realise they can commission work as well. It's a great experience because you're working together. You get a sense of you've created it with the maker. We like to change around a third of the exhibitors each year. So the public that come year on year, they'll always see something new. We've got new exhibitors from parts of the country that haven't been here before, new products, and even we're amazed each year. And it's quite heartbreaking sometimes to turn down some really good makers, but you have to let in the new work just to keep it revolving around. So it's very fresh each year. We like to approach the exhibitors and visitors to get their feedback on the show. But we want to know what the visitor would like as an addition, what the, the exhibitor would like as an addition, any areas they can see for improvement. Get that feedback and we'll make this show better and better every year. Throughout the history of Craft in Focus, we've tried to move forward and forward. But I think one area I'm particularly pleased at is how we've changed the whole perception the public have of the craft industry. They now respect the maker totally. We've got quite a reputation for delivering the very highest standard and we're not going to drop that. 